Let's talk about how freedom in Christ can set us free. 2 Corinthians 3.17 says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. When we are filled with the Spirit and we walk with the Spirit, then we have a freedom. We of all people are the most free. Only use your freedom for good. Use your superpower for good. If the Christian superpower is freedom, use that for good in your life. First of all, avoid things that are not helpful. That may be different to different people. You know your own struggles. The Bible says the temptation that we face is common, but there are different ways in which we're tempted and we should use our freedom. We have total freedom, but we have freedom also to restrict certain things in our lives that could keep us from living a pure life for Him. 1 Corinthians 6, 12 says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not helpful. Now that's quite literal. I can make choices and all things are lawful for me. I could make a decision to do something that would put me in prison. That's lawful for me. I can do it, but it's not helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. In other words, the reason that I choose not to do things that would put me in jail is because I don't want to go there. The reason I want to choose things that are going to help me that I won't fall into sin is because I want to have power over sin. The second thing that we see is that we should choose things that are edifying. I can choose things that are neutral. I can listen to music that is just neutral. It's not sinful and it's not righteous. It's just gray. But I can also choose to redeem my time. It doesn't mean I have to do it all the time, but I can choose on my free time to do things that are going to edify me and lift me up so that when I do face temptations, I'm ready to face them and win. In 1 Corinthians 10, 23, it says, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but not all things edify. I want to do those things in my life that edify me on a daily basis, that feed my spirit, that cause me to be strong, that can help me to make good decisions. This is how my freedom allows me to fight over sin. I don't have to wait until I'm facing the grips of temptation to call out to God to be set free. But I can prepare and I can plan beforehand. I can be wise that I don't sow the flesh. Galatians 5.13 says, For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use that liberty as an opportunity to the flesh, but through love serve one another. Just as I don't want to use my liberty to do something that would put me in jail, I don't want to use my liberty that appeals to my flesh either but I wanna walk in love. And love is one of those keys that really helps us to overcome temptation. And finally, do not use your liberty as an occasion for sin. Listen to what it says in 1 Peter 2.16. As free, yet not as using liberty as a cloak for vice, but as a bond servant of God. We are free in Christ, all kinds of freedom, but we don't wanna give an occasion to sin through that freedom. And this can sometimes happen.